<laughs> Something else. I'll tell you, the Spurs were not in the fog tonight, though. They huh? really weren't. It, it's amazing. This team is so Jekyll and Hyde because they go out on the road. They lose four out of five mm -hmm. games. They come in tonight, and Boston's not going to let them play like that probably on Saturday night when Boston comes in. But, boy, against Portland tonight, they were, they were all right. I don't know. How do you figure it? Spurs go on the road. They play a couple games well. Others, they don't. But they come home after losing four out of five on the road, and they just wipe out Portland. Final score from the arena, 141 to 120. Spurs winning it. Let's look at the tape. Hot start for the Spurs. First quarter, Johnny Moore makes the steal on Jim Pax, and Moore drives in. Look at the pass to Artis Gilmore for the slam dunk. Another big night for Artis. 19 points, 15 rebounds. Check the sweet move by Johnny Moore now behind the back and up and in. Pretty play by Junior. Spurs on the break now. Gene Banks. Feeds to George Gervin. Ice is in traffic here, but he still puts it up, and it's good. Ice with 31 tonight. Mike Mitchell, also a big night. He hit seven straight shots in the first half, finished with 24 points. Were they hustling tonight? Watch Gene Banks here trying for the steal. Goes up on the press table, says hello to Jay Howard from WOAI. Great night for the Spurs after a long five-game road trip. Boy, home cooking sure tastes good. Here we go to the scoreboard, 141 to 120. Again, the final, Gervin with 31, Mike Mitchell with 24. Rick Lozano was in the Spurs locker room afterward to talk to Gervin. Well, it was a big win, you know, we need games as um, badly as we can get them. So, you know, of course, it was a big game, and, you know, we want to be prepared to continue uh, to play like we played tonight. How can you lose a game like you did in Denver last night and then all of a sudden turn right around the next night and dominate a team like the, like the Blazers? Well, that's how the days go. This is a brand-new day, and, you know, we had a brand-new start. So, fortunately for us, it was in our favor. Saturday is also a brand new day or a brand new night. That's the Spurs' next game. Saturday night at the arena, the Boston Celtics will be here for their only appearance of the season. Other NBA scores, we've got Kansas City beating Houston tonight, 96 to 92. L.A. Clippers leading Boston in the first quarter, second quarter, I guess it is right now, but that one's very early. Chicago beats Cleveland tonight. In college ball, it was St. John's, fifth rank, beating Old Dominion and DePaul over Creighton, 87 to 58. The Cowboys say they may make a bid to get Heisman Trophy winner Doug Flutie. Player personnel director Gil Brandt says he'd like to see the Cowboys try to pull off some kind of deal to get themselves a better position in the draft so they can select Flutie. And Brandt says if Flutie's available when their turn comes, he will recommend that they pick him. Gunslingers filled a coaching position today. They moved up one of their players into it, no less. Danny Bugs, number 88, now in charge of receivers on the team. He'll also continue to play wide receiver. Danny Bugs, new player coach for the Gunslingers. Liberty Bowl tonight. Arkansas trailing Auburn. That one's in the fourth quarter. At last report, Auburn leading that one 14 to 3. Only bowl game of the night to report to you. I thought I had heard so many megabuck numbers tossed around in the last couple years in sports that I was numb. I couldn't be surprised by anything anymore, but this one still amazes me. New York Yankees officially signed free agent pitcher Ed Whitson today. Reportedly, they're going to pay him about $900,000 a year. As I said a couple of days ago when this story started to be rumored, Whitson is a 14 and 8 pitcher last year with San Diego. Lifetime, he's 52 and 56. He hasn't even won half his games. Nice guy to have on your team, but at a million a year, almost, that one's a little hard to buy. Anyway, where he was play? shelled by the Tigers in the, yeah, in the series. Yeah, he was. I, like I said, he's not a bad pitcher, but do you want to pay him nearly a million a year? I wouldn't. No. George Steinbrenner has a few more bucks than I, I do, so. though, I guess. Anyway, we're going to play a little Name That Jock for you. And uh, look at that guy. Speaking of big name Big buck guys. Look that familiar looks, to anybody? Uh, like Denny McLean. It looks like Denny McLean, but he's wearing an Oakland A's yeah. hat right there. That is Catfish Hunter. Really? Way back wow. in the days before he got the big buck contract. First one. Oh, we know that. Fella. That guy, yeah. He still looks pretty much the same, even though that picture is about 12 years old now. I'm, I'm used to seeing him leaping at the over the oh, Hertz suitcase at, at airports. Yeah. yeah, it's O.J. Simpson, of course. Okay. Here's a guy for you. Look familiar Boog. at all? Yeah. Good. You see him in beer commercials now with uh, Jim Honachick, the umpires, Boog Powell. A little bit younger then, probably from about 1970 or so. Okay, one more for you. Talk about young. Oh, we know him. Sells underwear now. Sure, yeah. Bill? Well, he looks young there. Models a lot. You know who that is, Bill? Sex symbol of Major League Baseball. No. no. <laughs> Jim Palmer. There you go. That's fun. Jim you dig those out on Thursday guy. nights. Yeah, I know. Thursday night as often as we can, as long as they don't get in the way of news coverage, of course. But so when did we see one of you about 15 years ago? You're going to wait a long time. All right. <laughs> don't hold your breath, buddy. Coming up next.